Hey, this is the Mad Scientist Guy, and in this video, I'm going to review the ZWO Narrowband Filter Set. Now, the first question we have to ask is, why would you even want narrowband filters? Well, with astrophotography in the city, you're battling uh, light pollution. And so there are a couple ways to you can mitigate it. And in my opinion, narrowband is the most effective way if you're using a uh, monochrome camera or maybe if you have a dual band with a color camera or something like that. And the reason is, is that we can allow just a very narrow uh, band of light to our camera and basically ignore all the rest, including moonlight. This is the ZWO narrowband filter kit. We have hydrogen alpha, sulfur 2, and oxygen 3. This particular set that I bought is a one and a quarter inch diameter. These are fully coated, and there is a male one and a quarter inch thread on one side, and they are fully mounted. Physically, the total distance from the top to the bottom of the thread is 7.47. If we measure just the bottom part, that's 4.94 millimeters. Narrowband filters are rated on how wide the band actually is. And this set is a 7 nanometer width. Now, uh, from the graph, you can see that it will transmit up to 90%, but if you read the text at ZWO's site, they say 80%, and I really think that that's just a typo because it clearly shows up to 90% in the chart. And check below in the description for a product link. ZWO sells a 2 inch and a 1 and a quarter inch set, and so I bought the 1 and a quarter inch, and they screw directly into a filter wheel or any accessory that you have. And it's a nice thing that they are mounted so that you don't have to mess around with the masks. And I found that they worked really well with standard equipment. Now for all of the images that I'm gonna show you, this is all gonna be done with my Skywatcher EQM 35 Pro. I have a Nikon 80 to 400 zoom lens and two ZWO cameras. Uh, I've got a guide camera and a regular astronomy camera. So that's the setup we're going to be using for this test. So it's still late winter and I can see Orion, so that's what I'm going to do my tests on today. So let's start off with hydrogen alpha. Here is a single 300 second exposure of Orion. And here is 45 minutes of total integration from a combination of the subframes. And I'm using calibration data such as darks, flats, and biases. So as you can see, there is a lot of hydrogen alpha in the Orion Nebula, and the filter has done a good job in extracting the data that we need. All right, now let's move on to oxygen. Here is a single 300 second sub exposure. When we combine and stack the data at 50 minutes, here is the result that we get for the Oxygen 3 channel. And finally, here's the Sulfur 2 at 300 second subframe. Since the sulfur 2 was a little bit less, I integrated a little bit longer at 100 minutes for this stacked frame. So for me, HOO is the most intuitive and I get the best results. And I wish I could do the SHO and make it look good, but I just can't, at least not right now. Maybe with a little practice. But anyway, here's my final result. Now, high quality astronomy filters are never cheap, and I paid $369 for the set, so that's about $120, $125 each. And I would consider this in the middle of the road. Uh, but for me, they work very well, 
and I think they're totally worth the price. So as I mentioned before, the product link in the description below. And if you'd like to support this channel, please uh, buy through my links. I really would appreciate it.